Hello, friends, and welcome back for day two. We are going to continue talking about being a handy helper or a good helper at school. Today, we are going to be listening to a story and talking about ways that we can take care of things. Last week, when we talked about the earth and ways we could take care of the earth, today we're going to talk about our classroom, or if you're a Zoomer, things that we have at home. So I want you to look at this picture, and I want you to think about what is the girl doing? She is petting the class rabbit. How can you tell the rabbit is special to her? Let's look at the emotions on her face. She has a big smile. She's taking care of the rabbit. She's being gentle. We're going to talk about and take a tour around our classroom of things that we can take care of. Now, if you're at home and you're listening, you're going to be walking around your house. You're going to keep your hands behind your back. You're going to use just your eyes to look at the objects. And I want you to think, what are some things around the house that you can take care of? So if I put my hands behind my back and I walk around my classroom, I can see the chairs. I'm going to push in my chairs and take care of the chairs. I see my markers. I'm going to put the caps on my markers and take care of them so they don't dry out. I'm going to take care of my floor and pick up any garbage or paper scraps I see. So right now, I'm going to have you pause the video. You're going to put your hands behind your back, use your eyes to look, and walk around and pick maybe... 10 things that you see that you're going to help take care of. Once you find your 10 items, I want you to come back, unpause the video, and we are going to keep working. All right, friends, hopefully you have found your 10 items. Today for your seesaw, it says, what things can we take care of in our classroom? We have to identify them first so that later on we can talk about good ways to take care of them and how to be responsible. So today you are going to brainstorm. You can draw as many things as you want. You could draw one thing. The more you draw, the better. You are going to draw a picture and complete the sentence. So if I say I'm going to draw a picture of something I can take care of in the classroom, I'd probably pick... The markers because it drives me crazy when the caps get left off the markers. So markers is something I always want to take care of. So I'm going to draw a picture in the box of me taking care of the markers by waiting until I hear the click with the cap on. Another thing I'm going to draw are chairs. I'm going to take chair, care of my chairs by but not tipping in them, not breaking them, and pushing them in underneath my table. So I'm going to draw a picture of me pushing in my chairs. At the bottom it says we can take care of, I would write the chairs and the markers. Once you are done and your picture is nice and colorful, you're going to touch the check mark. But before we go on today, I have a very special story that I want you to listen to and it's all about taking care of things. So turn on those great listening ears and get ready to listen. Respect and Take Care of Things by Sherry J. Miners. I'm learning to take care of myself and things around me. I show respect when I take care of things. After I use something, I put it where it belongs. Everything has a place. When I put things away, the room looks neat, it feels comfortable, and it's safe when I keep things off the floor. I can play with one thing at a time. After I use something, I can put it where it goes, then we'll all know where to find it. I can help take care of things I use with others and things that someone else used. It can be fast and fun when we all help. Some things need special care. I can wash my hands and use things gently. That way, 
they won't get dirty or broken. I can use things a long time and use only what I need. Things last longer when I don't waste. I need to wait until I'm older to use some things. I can use other things safely when I'm careful or when someone older helps me. I can respect things around me too. Wherever I go, I can leave things the way I found them, or better. When I pick up trash and litter, I help keep places beautiful. I can recycle too. I can use things again or in a new way. People can trust me to leave their things alone. When I want to use something, I can ask permission. If the person says it's okay, I'll be very careful. I show respect for people when I respect their things. Some things are private, just for one person. I show that I'm responsible when I leave those things alone. I can take good care of things I use and respect all the things around me. When I do, everyone can enjoy them. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story today. Not only do I want you to take care of the things that you already have, but this is a great chance or opportunity for you to talk to a grown-up at your house and ask them if there's something new that you could take care of and tell them that you're ready to have more responsibility and help with bigger jobs at home. Keep up the hard work, take nice time on your seesaw, and send it to me when you are ready. Good job.